Hello students, so in this lecture we shall be talking about uh, nuclear reactions. and the uh, mechanism involved in these reactions. Now, a basic standard uh, nuclear reaction can be represented in this form. Uh, there is a nucleus AXZ. A is the atomic number, Z is the mass, uh, is the, uh, mass number, Z is the atomic number, plus X, it gives you A, Y, Z plus Y uh, and it can be written in a symbolic form as uh, A X X Y A Y now X is the target nucleus this X is the target nucleus. Which is bombarded by small X, which is a projectile. Resulting in a compound nucleus. So this is a compound nucleus. This one is a compound nucleus and uh, it picks up in products Y nucleus and a particle Y. So for formation of a compound nucleus which is actually not this but intermediate between this and it breaks up into two uh, uh, the original nucleus that we were supposed to get and a byproduct. Now uh, if we have used the same nucleus, for example, let it be like this, uh, X, 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 X. So this is nothing but an elastic scattering. Energy is conserved using the same nucleus. Incident particle is deflected while passing a target nucleus. Well, if uh, had it been like this, X plus E uh, giving rise to X star plus E, then this process is the presentation of uh, something called scattering. So although the projectile is not entering the nucleus, it is uh, deflected while passing a target nucleus. Deflection of projectile X. So this corresponds to scattering. This corresponds to elastic scattering. And the uh, star mark here uh, represents that the nucleus is in the excited state. And so this process is uh, inelastic in nature rather than this one because there is no excitation involved. So this is inelastic in nature. Now the excited state nucleus. Uh, there is no change in its internal structure. So if you consider this again, consider X star, which is the excited state of elastic scattering. There is no internal change has taken place. And uh, the incident particle goes out with lower kinetic energy. However, the only thing is that the incident particle which came uh, towards this type of nucleus, it is going out with uh, lower uh, incident energy. So, you write it that uh, the incident particle 
goes out. Right. Lower key, that means a energy transfer is taking place from the incident particle to the nucleus, original nucleus. Now, uh, considering a compound nucleus, or intermediate nucleus, whatever you can call it. Here, the incident particle is actually captured. Instead of letting it deflect it. Now, after capturing, the compound nucleus has uh, got uh, some exchange energy and uh, it now decays into more particles. So decay into more particles. So this is what takes place in case of a compound nucleus. Now there are some conservation laws in nuclear uh, reaction needs to be maintained so conservation laws first in is uh, conservation of uh, mass number Conservation of uh, atomic number, then there is uh, conservation of energy, conservation of uh, linear momentum. Conservation of uh, angular momentum, conservation of parity, and conservation of isotopic spin or nuclear spin. Now, the conservation of uh, mass number, considered the here, the sum of the masses of, say, uh, suppose there is interaction x plus x giving rise to uh, y plus y. Now, the sum of the masses of x and x shall be uh, equal to, to equal to y plus y. That means the total protons and neutrons in a nuclear interaction remains unchanged. It implies that total protons and neutrons they should be unchanged in the total reaction before and after. So this is the first conservation law. The second conservation law which says that uh, the mass number uh, should, uh, or the, the atomic number should be conserved, conservation of uh, atomic number. It also says that atomic number of x plus uh, x should be equal to y plus y. The third is the conservation of uh, energy. That the sum of the rest uh, mass energy of all nuclei and kinetic energy must be equal 
the sum of the risk loss energies of kinetic energies of potential. For energy, uh, here it, we imply two things. One is the risk loss energy, that is mc squared energy, and plus the kinetic energy of the projectile. So uh, this, the addition of two is gives you total energy. So uh, when we are doing this reaction, here, this is the one which has got uh, the rest mass energy, and this is the one which has the kinetic energy. So after uh, the collision is taking place, there should be a total energy. This total energy should be same in the particles obtained after the nuclear reaction has taken place. So this is the conservation of energy. The next uh, conservation is conservation of uh, Linear momentum, so it says that uh, this is the reaction uh, x plus x giving uh, y plus y, so uh, px plus px should be equal to e y plus e y this is what so the linear momentum also should be conserved and the same is the case for uh, angular momentum uh, that means i x plus i x should be equal to uh, i y plus i y The next is uh, your parity. So parity should be conserved. Parity is actually uh, the change in the wave function when the there is a change in the position of the particles. Okay. So this should be uh, conserved also in the nuclear reaction. And last one is your isotopic spin, or the nuclear spin. So as you know, this uh, neutron and protons are fermions, and uh, they have got a, so the nucleus has also got a spin associated with it. And the spin should be also conserved. That means uh, we consider the isotopic spin as T, so T, T plus Tx gives you uh, Ty plus Ty. So these are the conservation laws. Now, apart from this conservation laws, we have something called uh, the Q value of nuclear reaction. So, it is actually the energy balance of nuclear reaction. It represents the energy balance. Again, the case uh, of the reaction x x giving rise to y plus y, or x x y x, which would be really presented. Now, considering the rest mass and the kinetic energies of uh, the particles, we can write here that mm, the rest mass energy of the nucleus is m x c squared plus uh, there is a rest mass energy of the projectile which is we can represent it as kinetic energy of the projectile plus the rest mass energy of the projectile combination of these two uh, will be equal to again the kinetic and rest mass energy of the new nucleus formed and the byproduct. So Q um, here is actually represented as equal to uh, 
e y plus e small y uh, minus e capital X plus e small x and it is equal to e mx plus mx minus my plus my into c squared. Now here, if we can write uh, ex mm, is equal to zero, that means the target nucleus is at rest. So putting that value, the value of uh, Q changes to uh, EY plus E small y Now uh, there are two two cases. The first case is when uh, Q is uh, greater than zero, and this is called exo uh, exit reaction. That means the energy is released. It corresponds to uh, capital MX plus MX is uh, greater than capital MY plus MY. This is exothermal reaction, so there is net decrease in energy. And the second case is the opposite one, that is when our Q is uh, less than zero, it's called endoechic. energy is absorbed, the energy has to be uh, supplied uh, for the reaction to occur. So energy to be supplied and there is a threshold energy associated with this reaction that has to be crossed to uh, make the reaction uh, occur. So here again uh, the opposite case that is mx plus uh, mx is uh, less than uh, ny plus ny and uh, apart from that there is a third reaction third case where the q is equal to zero and this is this corresponds to if, uh, if uh, q sorry If uh, Q is equal to zero, that means uh, no, no reaction uh, or, 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 or elastic collision is taking place. And there is no loss of energy and that change in direction. So no uh, energy loss, only change in direction has taken place. And uh, mx plus mx is equal to uh, 
five plus seven.